A woman of Ileife have forbidden Toby from ever stepping her foot into Ileife again. Because according to them, the moment Toby came out with her rumor of of whatsoever it is she, 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 she thinks she knows concerning the paternity of Prince Tadanika will understand that being in a marriage and then going to go offer another person because according to Toby she is still legally married to the only she told the divorce papers and threw them at only right into his face and she refused signing them so technically speaking although with Toby is not yet divorced she is still married to the only from what we are we are seeing and what the women of relief have analyzed so far they are saying that you cannot be married to someone you claim you are married to then you will go ahead and offer marriage to another man. Remember that Toby offered marriage to Oba Elegushi. Yes, she offered marriage to him. And Olori Shekinat even had to lock her up with immediate effect. Had to lock her up. So right now, the women are telling her that they have gathered too much at a time. And then she even coming out and not being able to provide them with evidence because according to her when she came out on this matter toby said she has enough evidence to prove her point she said she has but right now toby is beginning to develop cold feet toby is beginning to not answer to the people whom she would have answered to on this matter you see there is something we have always said that you should be ready for an end of a matter before you will be before you even think of the beginning because right now as this matter is on ground right now olori toby might think it is a joke she might even think yeah it is nothing it is nothing all will be fine every single thing will be okay forgetting the fact that there are people concerned on this matter that is a part toby keeps forgetting there are people concerned on this matter. You see, when Toby brought this matter out, it was hard to deny. It was hard to even accept. So all everybody was waiting for, drop the proof. And we all know that if Toby genuinely had proof, she would have displayed it on the face of the internet by now. Because the woman of Ilife called her. According to what we are hearing and what we are following up like this, the woman of Ilife called her and asked her, you are our daughter. They only have said, bring proof. But see, look at us here with you right now. We are not saying give us anything. Tell us the truth. And Toby could not speak in the presence of the women of Ilife. Now, you might be wondering, what is making the women of Ilife so interested on this matter? The women of Ilife are, are the most dedicated group in Ilife. And if you have ever seen anybody diligent to the person's cause, then give it to the women of Ilife. Miriam tried breaking into their circle. She could not. Yes, because they are not the set of persons you can bribe them. They are not. They are not the set of persons you can wake up today and feel you will be able to control them. They are not. They are just unique in their own way. And no matter what happens, no matter what revolves around, these women remain the strongest circle in Ilefe. So when they called the Lori Toby and they asked her and Toby could not defend herself or even bring out any single thing, they told her that oh, since you have chosen to fight but then fight blindly, we would help you fight. Leave Ilefe and never ever step your foot in Ilefe again. Now you will be saying that that is for the only to do, that is for the only to do. Uh -uh. The women of Ilife are people that when they only wants to do something, they can wake up and tell him that, Sir, this thing you are doing is not right. And the only stops. The only stops instantly. That is the level to which these women are. And, you know, when, when, when they get to that point of telling him that this, this, that, that, ah, he listens to them very well. At least we know that. We know that, that he listens to them. You see, at some point when the elders of Elif are drifting off from the path, the only was quite concerned because he knows that these people are people he listens to. And one said of the truth, instead of the truth that is supposed to be in the palace, then it is a very, very big slap on their faces because they are the ones who will face the consequences. This day they have made this mistake, tomorrow they have made this mistake. So they only had to give them space, or uh, let's say maybe a space to 
to, to you know break out of what they have gotten themselves into because in every meeting we heard how if they go in for a meeting these people are for miriam these people are for ronke it became a division in between them down to a point that they were even the ones proposing that they should take the Kawo from olori naomi because miriam and ronke felt that if the Kawo is being taken from olori naomi might not really really see any reason on bringing Naomi back because they felt the goal was to bring Tedenikawa back into the palace that was their thought and you see as the whole matter is on ground right now we don't even know which one is which we don't even know who is who again because right now Toby has brought a curse upon herself and remember that she did not just drag Pastor Jerry Eze into this matter she made sure she dragged every spiritual person in Olori Naomi's life from their Reverend Esther Ajay, Pastor Tibitan, and a, a lot of others, Pastor Jeremiah, and Reverend Funke Adejimo, all of them, she, she dragged them by the neck into the matter. And as the whole condition is on ground right now, what everybody is curious and what everybody wants to know is this, what better this idea out of Olori Tobi? She felt if she brings this, then it will be a concern for for the only to postpone whatever it is he's doing or what we don't even know yes we don't even know but right now no toby c has not given us the evidence she said she has yes she has, she has not given us because if she truly truly um has has the evidence then she should bring it that is the thing on ground right now if she has the evidence then she should bring it yes because right now we don't want to hear later that eh, I was just pitying this person. No, don't pity anybody. You see this whole palace matter. It has gone beyond that point where you will say, I pity this person because nobody is having mercy on another person. The person, Olivia De Ronke should have had mercy on Elizabeth when she chose to release her video. That is how things are done. But she said, no, I will do it so that what she should be completely out of the picture. So nobody is having mercy on another person when it comes to the palace matter. So as it is right now, if she has the proof, that is what even the women of Ilefe are asking her. If she has the proof, then we should go ahead. Yes, we should go ahead. She should go ahead and release it. That is just what everybody is asking now. Because the condition of the matter is stating that let it not turn into something that one day, one day, there will now be a breakage and then this will happen, that will happen. We are not we are not saying we don't trust the lawyer in Naomi. Neither we are not saying we don't trust Pastor Jerry Eze. But we are saying that when they say something, we should see it to the end, yes, to the fullest, except Toby is lying at this point because the woman of Ilefe could not get the truth out of her according to their discussion. So right now, what more shall we believe when Toby says Toby have lost it completely?